Hello everyone. My name is Sumit Guer and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solutions. Today I am come I've come up with a new topic in Salesforce especially in Visual Force on Salesforce that I would like to display specific records using a Visual Force and Apex classes uh, in Salesforce. So let me tell you about my requirement first. So what I would like to do is, so that's it today's agenda that I would first of all will be going to create a Visual Force page and on that Visual Force page we'll be going to display all the records in the form of a list from a specific object. And whenever user clicked on that specific record or specific data, I would like to display the details on a, another Visual Force page using tabs. So I'll show you the business requirement. So this is my business requirement. So as you can see here, I'm, I have displayed the, all the account information from the ob account object in the form of a list over here. And they are in the form of a links. And when the user clicked on any of the record, so in this example, I have clicked on the United Oil and Gas Corporation. So when the user clicked on United Oil and Gas Corporation, he will be redirected to the another page or to a new page on in that new page the information will, be, information will be displayed in the form of a tab, only the detailed information. I have eliminated the associated related list with this particular record. So we are going to achieve this using Visual Force and Apex programming or Apex code in Salesforce. So let's see how to do this or how to achieve this. So for this, first of all, let me open a Visual Fo in Salesforce and in Salesforce, first of all, we'll be going to create a Visual Force page. So, what page I would we will be going to create is so, and you know that how to create a visual uh, and Visual Force page. If you don't know how to create a Visual Force page, you can visit my previous videos. In that, in those videos, I have explained how to create Visual Force pages in Salesforce. So, I remove this and Apex and give a name of a page. So, let's say display account and enter create page display account and click on this to open the code or the, this is the code section we, where we can write a code so I'm going, going to eliminate or remove the existing code make it a little bigger and now let's create so first of all I'm going to use a standard controller and in this I'm going to use account and because I'm going to use this, uh, read the record so I use record software account and in this I create apex colon form and in form I'm going to create apex colon page block and page block I'll give a title to account info or let's say account list in case of info we can use a list here in this code I'm going to use I'm going to create a page block table so I use apex colon page block table and in this page block table the value is value I use value attribute and value is coming from account record set where and then I create a variable variable is equal to ACC then I, I add a column apex colon column because I need a single column in this and in column uh, apex colon column it's an opening and closing tag by default is closed it will be open and closed in a single tag so I shift into two tags then I use over here apex colon and I use over here output link output link value is equal to now value I will be getting the value and value is coming from slash apex slash and basically it's a link uh, means when we click on that link so as you can see here why I'm why I'm using this because you can see they, they all are linked and when the user clicked on any of the record it's an hyperlink like an hyperlink and when the user clicked on this it will be redirected to the next page so that's why I'm mentioning this that if I click on that link it will be redirected to that to which particular page 
so I use here display and uh, account record so this will be our new page you can say that so we will be going to create a new page over one more so use ID is equal to ID is equal to and pass the parameter over here and I assign the ID ACC dot ID and in this I display the values and to display the values we use ACC dot name so if we save this let's see once I save this and uh, apex page block table and apex page block table okay this is closed over here ACC name yeah so error is resolved so you can see over here now so we have got all the inform all the list all the records accounts list account records in the form of a list over here and they are in the form of hyperlink now when the user clicked on this link it will be redirected to a new page so now we have to create another page so let's create a new page so for creating a new page I'm going to copy the same text over here and simply change the name of the page and what will be the name of the page so the name of the page will be the same uh, same name which you have used over here so I'll copy it and paste it over here. Display account record and click on this link to create the Visual Force page. And in that page, we'll be going to display the records. The display the specific records in the form of a inside a tab so here I'm going to use here controller controller and I use my account controller and if you want to know more about standard controller and controller you can visit my previous video existing videos in that I have explained about the difference between a controller and the standard controller and when to use them and here I use I create a form again fx colon form and in this form I'm going to use fx colon tab panel in this tab panel I'm going to create tab so I use over here fx colon tab and this tab the label will be let's say label is equal to details and inside this tab I'm going to uh, set the related list to false because I don't want to show the related list so that's why I use over here details and uh, I'll set a title title is equal to true it's a boolean so that it will display the title and set the related list is equal to false so that's what it so in this case it will not display any of the related list it will display only the required uh, details section or information from the details section so if I try to save this this will throw an error message because this my con my account controller paid uh, class does not exist this apex class does not exist so I click on this link to create the apex controller class and in this apex controller class we have to write the code so what code will be going to write so you can see here the pay, uh, the tab has been created but there is no inf uh, there is no information so in this tab we have to display the specific information based on the ID which is passed from the previous page so first of all I'm, I create a new instance of the account object account account and get set then by using a constructor so I create a constructor over here public and constructor and in this constructor I'm going to write the functionality what do I want to do so I get the ID because I need to get the ID from which is passed which is passed through from the previous page so apex pages dot current page current current page dot get parameters dot get and in single quotes we pass the ID so this I it what it will do it will extract the ID which is passed through from the previous page from the first page and on in account or in this the instance which we have created it will extract the specific record based on this specific ID which is passed through the first page or the ex 
previous page. So I write an SQL query over here, select ID, comma name, comma phone from account where ID equal to colon ID. And uh, that's all. So we have done with coding part. Now let's see it's working or not. So I get back to the first page with the page which we created initially the display account visual force page and on this visual visual force page we have got all the list the account records in the form of a list or basically in the form of a uh, output link and whenever I clicked on any of the record for example I would like to see the details or the record uh, the further details of this grand hotels and resort limited when I clicked on this you can see here it has been redirected to the second page display account record ID and along with that it has it has transferred the ID also it has sent the ID also and on the second page on this page uh, through Apex uh, through Apex class code we have extract this ID extract the record and display that record in the tab option in the tab over here so this is how we can create or we can display a specific records using Visual Force and Apex code so for your conveniency, I am sharing the code code as well over here, so you can see the codes. So these this is the code for the first page, which will display all the inform all the records from the account object in the form of a table page block table and as an output link. And this is the code for the second page where we are going to display the information of a specific which is passed the whose ID will be has been passed from the first page and displayed in the in the tab panel over here. So that's all in this video. So if you have any questions you can come up with your questions. You can visit our website or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. I will be coming up with some new interesting videos and uh, with some new topics. Till then have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.